You know, a few years ago, there was a thing popping up, Statista. Yeah. Uh, three years later, I sit in the office of Friedrich in Hamburg, where I'm from, and I heard the story, and I was blown away. I was at Lehman Brothers. We did the take private of Nielsen back then, and I'm a market research information services guy. That's what I did at Lehman. And that's, I guess, why I have so much appreciation for your product. Other people use it as a like, similar web for audience measurement. But what you have created with Statista, for me, is one of the most innovative and disruptive models in an industry where nobody really expected anything to come what you built. Very proud to present you Friedrich, Dr. Friedrich, I believe, from Statista, founder and CEO. Much. Thank you. Um, actually, the idea about Statista is a lot, but certainly not at all revolutionary. It was very simple. We thought that there would be a place where you go to and you basically find all the market statistics you need for your specific markets for all the different continents. Something you would expect, like you find it for real estate and for all the different markets. The difficulty to build it up was you have so many resources, so you have to build contracts again and again and again. So I tell you a little about, bit about how we did it. Number one, of course, we believe in data and in numbers. So here are five numbers to describe our company. I would say we're not anymore a startup. We're certainly not a very large company. So when it comes to destination for data inquiries, Statista indeed for the moment um, is the biggest destination where people look for statistics. Um, we m roughly make 20 million this year. Um, in Germany, we are profitable. We started here, roughly profit margin 35%. It is an international company. 40% of our revenues come outside of Germany. And I tell how we roll it out because that might be interesting. And um, we have grown 50% over the last three years and will grow over the next years. And you can predict it in a certain way because it's all subscription based. Now, the market research market is actually interesting in a way because, number one, it is rather fragmented. If you take the three largest players, which are Nielsen, IHS, and Kantar, all together they have roughly 30%. But you have many, many, many other players who have a percentage or even less. So overall, we counted and we came up to 100,000 different sources where you can find the market data. Of course, that is a lovely situation for an aggregator because it's totally transparent, and that is what we try to change. So we created a database which, very simple, is open. Google can read everything. They see all the statistics we have on all the different topics. Um, why does it help us? Number one, obviously, it creates traffic because all the competitors we have, the really large one like GFK Nielsen, they always are closed shop. Yeah, it's a database, you go to the website, it's a promotional website, but you don't really see what's in it. Um, whereas with us, you just can go to Statista, log in, and you see what you have. You do not get the data because we want to make a living, but otherwise you see all the different um, statistics we cover. Um, and that helps us, of course, to develop the platform because we look at every single statistics a bit like a media company. Is there more demand? Do we need to source more? Um, what is the click-through rate, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, which is difficult if you don't have the traffic. And again, finally, the 7.5 million visitors help us because content companies don't see us anymore as competitors. They actually give us content very often for free because they say, wow, I reach there our customers. So that is helpful, of course. Um, the tool itself, it, it differs from um, other things you see on the market research ground because we created a tool um, which is really for every employee. Why? Because we believe every person is constantly looking for market data. It could be the intern, it could be the assistant to the CEO, it could be the head of sales. People are looking for market data and statistics, a bit like they use LinkedIn. They constantly want to connect. So the, but funnily there, there is no tool for everyone which is cheap enough, which is easy enough to use for all the people looking for data. And that is what we try to attempt. 
So we look more um, and observe companies like Dropbox, LinkedIn, and iStock, because I think it's actually interesting how they widened up the market. So two, um, two screenshots how we work. If you go to Statista, you look for anything, for instance, like supermarkets. Number one, you see the number of results. If you can see it over there, there's about 1,000. And we have different databases, mainly statistics. You have dossiers where you have a primer on supermarkets and other things. You click on it, you can use it. Very intuitive. If you click on it, for instance, on this one here, you see the market of the grocery market. They look always the same, very easy to read. You have the premium function. You just download it and you can use it. Companies can give us their PowerPoint templates within an hour. Everything is in their PowerPoint templates, is in their colors. They don't see any more Statista. So it, we constantly measure how much minutes you, or seconds you spend in order to have the slide ready, because that's what we're thinking of. And you have the sources, and you're back linked to the source. And that is, of course, why people give us the data, because they get all the requests for additional information about it. We really have only always the, um, the top of the iceberg. For the iceberg, you have to go to others. Um, we, um, after we started in Germany, which was a relatively easy market, we had the question to which country would we expand? And probably many people of you have the same question. Should it be to a, sm a country like the UK, which you can manage, or to a larger one um, like the US? And we chose the US, number one, because for us to set up a new market, be it Luxembourg or, or the US, costs us the same from a database perspective. But we really wanted to experience how it is um, actually to enter a new market with that huge and to understand how it is to roll out a global product. And the first two years were very interesting because we were proud of ourselves. We thought that we are, wow, we managed the world. We worked together with Spiegel and Build. And we arrived in the US and we realized no one cared. They haven't even heard of Spiegel and the Build Zeitung. For them, really being from Germany was nothing. No one is waiting for you. So since then, whenever we send over people to the US and to our office, we always tell them, Think of yourself as you're coming from Kazakhstan. No one cares about you, and that is the right approach. And I know it sounds strange to you, but to think anybody is waiting for a German company outside of Germany is just wrong. So with Kazakhstan in mind, we spent roughly two years suffering. I probably went all the different avenues up and down, like a salesman selling brushes, tried to sell my damn statistics, and I were not successful at all. Because I learned one thing. In Germany, when I present something, I all you, always tell you the numbers. Hey, I'm from Statista. Of course, I tell you the numbers, the facts about the product. That doesn't work in the US. So we basically got rid of all our German sales stuff and hired people from the US, um, basically people who worked for Dow Jones, Bloomberg, and built up a, um, a US sales force. Pretty trivial, pretty obvious. So we went through it. After two years, we turned it around, and actually now it works in the US. And the US is by far our largest market now, and it's growing like hell. Um, that's where you see us. So the production is always in, um, in Hamburg, in Germany. We get all the analysts to Hamburg, but then it's covered basically for the moment. We cover um, North America out of um, New York and um, Europe, and we have two smaller offices in London and in Madrid with the coverage of the whole country. Two points. When people decide for a statistic, they want to trust the brand. No one used Statista. So what we decided is actually to partner with major media brands. So what you have seen probably sometimes is our infographics on Spiegel, Handelsblatt, and others. And I can really recommend that. That helps a lot. Um, and interestingly, statistics is really for everyone. It's not only for consultants. It's not only for media agency. So here you see the spread of our customers and really going around through all the different industries. And they have smaller accounts. We never go to the purchasing department. We always basically sell them individually and try and hopefully spread it like a virus. Um, by the way, so for that. We love if people break, actually, our legal rules. 
you are allowed only to have 10 people to use it. And I just recommend it's fantastic if 20 or 30 people break this, okay? Because the next year, you phone them up and says, I can't explain it. There are 20 people who have used it. Let's not talk about lawyers. Let's talk about upsell. That is the best thing you can do. Um, and these are um, almost the last slide. These are our revenue figures for the moment. Normally, when you see these slides, you look actually at the perspective. And I think we will do 2017, and I hope we will do 2018. But what you should look at is actually the beginning of this slide. This is horror. This is five years of like alcohol drinking and going through it. It was so tough to build it up, so tough to get there. And there is really something like a hockey stick. I was surprised, but really we had to build a traffic base and had to run it until we got to a stage where only the last three years it really took off. And with that, and our 300 employees, thank you very much for your attention.